In today's short video, we cover five things Glove Show recipients should keep in mind. Hey Finger Freaks, my name's Jess and I'm back with another gloving video, this time aimed at the moths in the crowd. You know, those of you at the rave that just cannot help but be drawn to the lights. Bitches will get a 10 minute face melt and then they'll come back for more. It's me. I I'm, I'm bitches. This is valid. And it is the whole reason why we wiggle in the first place. However, if it's your first rave, or you've never gotten a light show before, there are five things you should remember to ensure your first gloving experience is a positive one for both you and the light show artist. But before I get into the video, I want to remind you a couple of things. First, I'm giving away a $200 Amazing Lights gift card at 2,000 subscribers. We are less than 300 subscribers away from that goal, so smash that sub button and help us meet it. There will be more details on how to win at the end of the video, so stick around to find out. Next, my book, Mastering the Art of Gloving, has less than 200 copies left in stock. Be sure to grab your copy, and huge bless to everyone who has already picked one up. Lastly, YouGotMoves.com is gloving's greatest resource, so if you find yourself sticking around my channel, there is a 100% chance that you'll love what you find on that site. It's got a free tutorial library filled with curated content from throughout Gloving's history, as well as access to private coaching. Not to mention, that's where you can get my book via yougotmoves.com backslash handbook. And of course, here's the obligatory just 3M for 10% off meme. And now let's get into the video. First things first, put your damn phone away. Look, I get it. If it's your first time at a rave and you've never seen a gloving light show before, the instinct is to capture it on your Snappygram or your Tic Tac or your Twitter pages. This is honestly respectable, but make sure you have the performance consent to record them first, and also don't record the show that they are giving to you. Pay attention to the performance, and if you really want to get it recorded, get that consent first and get a friend to record the show while you watch. I promise you going through these protocols will get you instant respects with the Glover. Number two. Drugs. This is awkward. No, thank you. Drugs. The truth is most Glovers, like most ravers, don't care what your poison is. As long as you are safe, healthy, and having fun, we don't mind. Let loose. That being said, don't be that guy to say, I'm not on drugs. Can I still get a light show? Honey, we love melting sober face. We can get you dripping without any assistance from extracurriculars, and we will prove it time and time again. Third, which is one of the only things that will cause a Glover to deny a light show. It's the current song or the DJ set. Sometimes we vibe into our favorite artists and we just want to enjoy the moment. Sometimes the song isn't right for the experience. Now this isn't to say that you shouldn't ask anyway, but if the Glover gives you any of these as a reason why they don't want to glove for you at the current moment, respect that decision and they will respect and appreciate you. They'll also most likely remember you enough to give you that light show when the time is right. It's like a reward. Number four, security is another reason why you might get turned down. Sometimes the venue sucks. Sometimes the production company sucks. Sometimes the security guards think they're Paul Blart. In scenarios like these, it may literally cost the Glover his set to give you the light show you desire. They may still risk it, but keep in mind just exactly how much they are putting on the line for the performance. Number five is the funniest phenomenon that you may have to consider before asking your favorite Glover for a light show. And that's the line that they already have. You can certainly take a number, but you can't exactly expect them to call your number when you're queued next. Glovers like to trade with each other at festivals and shows, and the top tier popular Glovers tend to get flocked by requests. I guess the bigger the lamp, the more moths you attract. Seems reasonable. So don't be surprised when you find out the weights are longer than the line at the DMV. So don't be surprised when you find out the weights are longer than the lines at the DMV. These five factors will definitely affect your experience with festival gloving. If you're going to ask for light shows at the event, keep this stuff in mind. Again, none of these are reasons why you shouldn't ask for a light show, just that if you get turned down for any of these reasons, it's really not personal. So yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget that yougotmoves.com has my book. Just add the backslash handbook or I am the jest to that URL and it will land you in the right area to find the book. 
I'm also giving away a $200 Amazing Lights gift card at 2,000 subs, and all you got to do to win is like this video, comment on all my recent videos, and make sure that you're subbed to the channel. The more videos I see your name in the comments, the better chance you have to win. And of course, just 3M for 10% off and all that amazing, but yada yada, whatever, you already know that. Blessed trails, finger freaks, and remember it's better to be weird than boring.